Hi, Renee Schwartz with the handy educational technology tip. Right now, we're going to be talking about projectors and connectors. First thing I want to talk about is probably the cables that you're going to connect your projector uh, to your uh, device, either a camera or a laptop. Uh, and what you're basically going to be doing uh, is the old method, of course, is the uh, is on the back here. You can see right there. There's several different kinds of connectors. There's a RGB, um, which is this guy right there, and then beside it, right there, is the HDMI, which is uh, becoming the basic standard of connecting cameras or laptops to projectors. Projectors are uh, um, a tool that's uh, that's used in all kinds of classrooms as well, uh, and uh, in um, in theater, uh, projection is actually a, now a degree program uh, in uh, in theater design. So that's. Uh, uh, basically your standard sort of classroom projector. Uh, give you a little hand up. These are the fairly large ones that are used for conference rooms or for theaters. Pardon me. They have interchangeable lenses uh, and these these lenses here are uh, different sizes uh, depending on how far away you would like to place your projector from the screen that you're projecting onto. Cables are quite <clears throat> varied. Um, um, however, uh, here's the RGB cable. And what you want to do is basically you are going to uh, uh, use this kind of cable for older projectors, newer projectors, um, when newer equipment, the evolving system, of course, is going to be this here, this kind of connector here, which is the HDMI kind of connector. Some interfaces, of course, are Apple, and they uh, have proprietary connections like this lightning, uh, connection that needs a, a, an adapter like this uh, to go to RGB or uh, another kind of adapter that will take you to uh, HDMI as well. So just be aware that uh, some of your connections, depending on what uh, computer you're using or device you're using, you may need an adapter. Uh, and uh, it's always good to ask a technician uh, to make sure that uh, the adapter that you're going to uh, purchase uh, uh, is actually going to work. Um, now this is a fairly thick cable uh, and allows you uh, a greater distance between the device and the projector. Um, however, if you get really quite a far distance away from uh, your source and your projector, then you're going to need an amplifier um, and I can show you a quick uh, there's a there's a shot there of an amplifier that uh, we use in our theater because we're extending cable for at least 40 feet and after a while the signal is weakened through traveling th that kind of distance okay so that's basically it for projectors